can see it under the upset skirt stabilize. Amazement, Clarence Kate, K Power Month, K Love Them South, Love Them Body, so you can stand in your power and change your life. Yep. That's what it's all about in a nutshell. So, today's video, hello. New Year, 2020, wink, wink, <laughs> okay, so yes, so today's video is all about, it's a very long title, uh, so it's all about New Year's resolutions to kickstart you into more health and getting golden for a badass you and a badass year. Uh, I don't actually know why I'm talking like this. I don't know. Slow motion is the vibe right now. Okay, so, yeah. So, I've got some New Year's resolutions for you that are easy and simple. Well, they're not easy and that simple, but they're quite simple to implement that are going to give you, you know, like, big change and uh, yeah they're simple to do like I said and they're great to keep starting your year if you haven't already made some you know some badass resolutions to get you started get you motivated get you going for like I already said for you know a better you badass you that kind of you thing you know so, yeah, so, these things, well, these resolutions, <laughs> these things, these resolutions, um, are things that, some are things that I already currently do, well, you know, last year, best year, last year, there were things that I already did, but, um, I didn't, like, stick to them, like, continue it, like, religiously, basically, so they're definitely things that I want to bring into this new 2020 year, and I definitely want to implement them properly this time um, because when I did do them and implement them a few times last year well mostly, kind of, sometimes, not always tried to always but not perfectly stick to them but wanted to um, when I did do them obviously I was very happy and I've seen dramatic change and I just think they're amazing resolutions and I want to share them with you so you can try it and do and, you know, get more empowered, get more, you know, shit done, that kind of thing. So, yeah. So, like I said, these are things that I've done previously, but I want to definitely do them properly this time. And some of those, some of the resolutions are things that I tried to do, I thought about doing, but I didn't actually get around really to, like, doing it properly. So, yeah. So, they're definitely on the list um, for this year um so yeah so welcome to a new year i hope it's going good i hope you've started off really good um and yeah i hope this year is better than last year i mean i hope this year is better than last year <laughs> okay so the first one i can't do it but i'm definitely it's on the top of the list the number one thing that I definitely want to do this year and I want to do it properly and I want to do it all the time but I'm like not that good at it but I definitely need to um up my game on this one so yeah first one waking up earlier <coughs> okay so yeah so this is like uh, even if you get up early already um it will be like even more beneficial to be able to wake up say like an hour or 30 minutes before you normally get up like this is like crucial um you know so then you can like have a bit of like you time get like a workout done you know do everything that you can probably get done in like half an hour that would normally take you all day to do <laughs> this is 
just get like 30 minutes earlier get everything done in like no time whatsoever and it's like the whole day then you can do like other stuff it's like so simple and so effective but not that easy to do not for me anyway so yeah um, so yeah, so this is definitely on my top of my list, this is something that is very important, and like I said, you can use this time, you know, for like, exercise, for, um, you know, probably having like a healthy breakfast, and actually sitting down and having a breakfast, um, you know, or for, you know, like, like, writing or reading a book, just especially if you're a mum as well, um, just a little bit of like, you time is like, important, and it also, gives you a better start to the day of course so yeah of course we can always for hundred reasons why it's so important to wake up early but yeah um yeah just do it okay so next one drink more water this is like of course like obvious but it's not always um that easy to do so yeah of course drinking more water is like so basic um but it you know to remind you and of course it's to you know drink water instead of drinking like sugary drinks instead of drinking fizzy pop um, and instead of not drinking nothing drink water instead of not drinking anything because it's so easy to just not have anything because you don't want to have like fizzy pop so um, and it definitely takes conscious effort <coughs> to drink more water it's not just as simple as like oh if I've got a bottle of water there I'm going to drink it you know you have to really remind yourself like put notes on the water remind yourself to drink more water or put your alarm on for like every two hours to just have like a glass of water it's definitely like it's not a chore but it's definitely something that you need to push yourself to do um, and of course you're going to see amazing results after you drink water um, obviously like your skin and it cleanses you and all that good stuff so yeah Next one, start your day with a detox drink. Um, so yeah, so I do this um, all the time, but well, not all the time, but it's definitely like really effective. Um, and the detox recipes are endless. Um, but like the most common ones are like lemon, um, lemon, like real lemon juice, warm water, turmeric, or you can have like apple cider vinegar. Um, with water, uh, or you can have like ginger and lemon. Um, yeah, like my main ones are like lemon and water, or apple cider vinegar and water, um, or turmeric and cayenne pepper as well. So yeah, there's a few you can just um, find that out. But yeah, definitely detox, like a nice detox drink. And especially if you're working out as well, and you definitely want to be more healthy. Yeah, this will definitely like flush your tummy, and it will like have to lose weight, and it cleanses your body, and it's like more effective than just water on its own. Um, and yeah, obviously have it on an empty stomach and before you like do anything else and it will definitely encourage you as well to like eat more healthy foods too um, and of course you know like after like binging over Christmas and New Year's and stuff having a detox like to drink to flush everything out is like really important and yeah and it opens your bowels as well and it gets you like moving gets everything you know circulating and exiting yeah so with a detox drink first thing in the morning and um, you know it's a good combo to go with that early morning routine that you're going to start doing <laughs> okay so yeah next one um i hope this resolution list is going good for you so far hope you're enjoying it <laughs> and it's yeah these things are easier to do like if you just start doing like a few at a time but yeah just have a go all of them at once you can do it, you're badass. Okay, so next one, do to do list every night. This is something that I've done like sometimes and it's so effective. Um and it's yeah, so it's like spend twenty minutes, fifteen minutes every night, um, because it's so easy to like get overwhelmed, um, with like having so much to do like the next day. It's just easy to just be overwhelmed knowing that you've got like a hundred things on your to do list to do. So I find that it really like like break that it just breaks it down into smaller steps by doing a few every night instead of just thinking i've got like so much and then nothing gets done then when you're just overwhelmed by it so i think it's so effective to just spend like 15 minutes every night before you go to sleep i just put my alarm clock on for like 10 o'clock at night which is like way too late um 
because I should be like in it by then. <laughs> but yeah, so I just had my alarm for like 10 o'clock and then it just reminds me to just write my to-do list. And when I do it, I find it's like easier because then you only have like three goals, like all to-do things to do for the next day, which can be anything. It could be, you know, to tidy, you know, to declutter, to do meal prep, to have your smoothie, whatever it is. When it's on a to-do list, you're more likely to get it done. Um, yeah. So just do a to-do list. You can put it on post-it notes, even if it's like one goal a day still effective even if it's just to remind you to exercise yeah just um but yeah definitely every night um just spend that bit of time and then it gets you thinking as well what things that you could get done in the future too um instead of putting things off okay so next one um okay a calendar getting a calendar this is definitely a great one for a new year um, because of course then you can make the most of it and you can use the whole calendar up <laughs> and you can fill it out um, but it's so so important to have a calendar because it's so easy especially you know if you're like a mum and you're running a house and you've got bills and you've got this through business and you know if you've got hobbies or you've got activities or the kids you know education all of them things are so easy um, to forget and even if you have loads of to-do lists still hard to forget the things that are supposed to go on a calendar so these are just things that are just going to help you to like te you know get rid of that stress and lighten that burden a little bit but a calendar is so important I've went so many years without a calendar thinking like oh you don't really need it you can just write it on a notebook but when you can look at it at a glance um, you definitely stay more organised also it helps to not forget the thing it's so easy to forget like birthdays and all of that things so I think the main things that are so important to put on your calendar are your workout days. Um, you know, you can put on like one day a week um, for like each month. Um, and you can fill it out like a month in advance. You don't have to fill out the whole 12 months if that feels too much for you. Um, you can fill it out a month at a time. Um, so yeah, things that I think are definitely that I'm going to definitely put on my calendar um, are birthdays because I always forget um, everyone's birthday and even just by sending someone a text message or a card it's really thoughtful and it's something that you will probably forget if you are busy like I said you've got a hundred things that you're doing um, so yeah so birthdays and workouts are definitely something that you can put in your calendar because then you can keep track of how, of how much workouts you're already doing because um, then you can track your progress as well so it's just about seeing like what you can get on there and things that you have done so you can, you know, reward yourself. Um, yeah, it's just a lot easier to track what you're doing and what you need to do, um, which is difficult to do that by just putting it on a note. Um, and yeah, and also you can put on there your meal prep times or your meal prep days. Um, if you do that, um, if you do your meal prep, you get exercise in. Um, yeah, so you can put, you know, even if it's once a week that you do a meal prep, or even if it's once a month you do a meal prep, it's still good to just keep track of that. Um, so yeah, so meal prep, like I said, um, and well, oh yeah, and it's also good as well to track like family time as well, if, especially like I said, if you're a busy mummy and you know, if you're running a business or you're working, um, it's just, you know, you forget about social time, you forget about family time sometimes, so it's definitely good to track that as well, um, to track how much, you know, time you're spending with, you know, your peeps, um, because family bonding time is precious, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, so definitely track that, you know, how many times in a year you'd like to, you know, have like a family day out or something, even if it's like once every two months, um, yeah. Otherwise, it would just be like six months have gone by and you've probably not done it and, you know, yeah, a calendar is great for tracking. Um, and, well, yeah, so yeah, it's just a way to just um, be able to just, you know, just have a bit of balance um, and, yeah, it's definitely a way to keep things balanced, you know, with like work, um, family time and kids and learning and your health 
and everything and yeah otherwise it's just give and miss and you end up spending more time and energy in one part of you know your day or your life and all of that stuff so yeah so keep that in mind um yeah so the last thing is the last thing no it's not the last thing okay so <laughs> okay yeah this is definitely a video that i'm gonna like oh i thought we finished after five minutes okay so the next one is goal setting for the year so um i kind of done this i spent hours doing this yesterday <sighs> which is like so important now um, so yeah, so uh, if you are like new to like goal setting and stuff, you know, you can just start with just like one, um, like, you know, goal that you want to get completed in the year, you know, it can be like whatever, it could be, you know, just go on a nice holiday to like Barbados or something, um, you know, something like that, you, you know, you put your yearly goal there and, you know, you, um, you know, then you break it down into like your monthly, um, quarters, what things you can do in, um, in 12 months or if it's like if you want to go in summer or whenever it is um, or if you want to spend the whole year you know um, like getting it all done and then you can go to the next and the year after that or whatever just you know put your deadline on there um, and then yeah just like break it down into what you can do within you know six to nine months or whatever it is and then you break it down then into weeks and then you can break it down into your days so you just want to just um yeah so just think of something that you'd like to do in the year and you know just um set that intention to get that goal done and you know um yeah it would just you know give you focus and something to be motivated about and something that you know you look forward to doing and of course when you accomplish it you'll be so happy as well um so yeah so get a goal done accomplish it within a year and get back at me and let me know how great that was for you okay so next thing so yeah, so the next thing is to eat and cook a homemade healthy meal from scratch at least once a week. Which sounds so obvious and so easy to do, but it's so easy to just not home cook. And it's so easy to just have like oven food. And it's so easy to just have takeaways. And it's so easy to just have like jacket potatoes, you know, all of that stuff. So just make it a conscious effort. Um, at least once a week, you know, to yeah, have a home cooked meal from scratch, make it from you know, lots of ingredients, put it in the fridge, get your recipe, and yeah, and just do it, and yeah, and just try and make it as natural as you can, um, you know, without like, without adding anything, um, you know, just yeah, just try and make it as healthy as possible, really, um, but yeah, even if you just can't probably do it once a week, do it once a month, but yeah, once a week is definitely good. And of course, you know, it's, it's good to like have like no meat days as well, and like in a month or whatever it is, just to like give your body time to like digest and all that and clear itself and all that stuff. So yeah, that's quite easy enough, isn't it? One healthy meal a week. It doesn't have to be a meal prep, it can just be like one meal. Something that, you know, probably, you know, if you eat meat, then it could be like a meat dish, like a casserole or a soup. The recipes are endless, aren't they? But yeah, and obviously it's vegetarian, it could be like a zucchini lasagna. Um, you know, or it could be yeah, something you know, without having to like buy, you know, something from a packet. Make it. So even if it's like making your own. Um, making your own vegan sausages, I did that and it was so nice. I mean, definitely get you creative in the kitchen as well. So yeah. Um, and then, yeah, the last one I think. I don't know what I've written on the other thing. Um, so yeah, and then the last one is just implement exercise. Implement some exercise, make it an ears resolution to get some more exercise into your regimen, into your life, um, and it could be something fun, so like Zumba, jogging, walking, skipping, hula hooping, just something fun, if you want it to be fun, um, but yeah, 
in fact, some kind of exercise. And if you are already exercising already, then you know, um, see how you can up your game. You know, uh, add more days, do do more intense exercise. Um, work on you know sculpting your body even more, no matter what level of exercise you're at. Um, yeah, let's do that. Um, if you go to the gym or whatever, you know, just put more weight that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, uh, and if you want a conversation with exercise, then of course, if like this is the year for you and you want to implement like an exercise, um, you know, like, like an exercise plan with me and you want to, you know, um, work on a goal, a uh, body goal or fitness goal or health goal, then of course I'm your girl, so get at me and let's get your new year's healthy, new body, new you, yeah, kind of plan and, you know, all of that good stuff going on. So any questions, um, like about my fitness programs or meal prep programs or detoxing, um, you know, or my empowerment, anything like that, then just let me know. Um, yeah, just let me know in my groups. Um, you can contact me in my group. So I've got a fitness group, an empowerment group, um, which is separate. So for this new year's resolution, uh, this will go to my fitness and empowerment. So yeah, just hit me up with some comments, start a discussion, put up a post, um, and I'll get back to you um, on that because I don't accept inboxes. Yeah, all right then. So um, I'll definitely leave the links for the links in the description for the group. Um, so yeah, yeah. And if it's health related or Questions, queries, chit chat. In the group only. So yeah, so that's it for um New Year's resolution. So yeah, just implement them, try them, write them down. Um and if you you know, but yeah, they're all easy to implement. And if you are new to like resolutions, sticking to them, um, you know, just start off with a few, um, and then after six months you know, add some more of these, um, but yeah, I'll give you a list there, so you can do, just try as many as you can at once, um, you know, even if you want to do like all the health ones, do all the health ones, if, um, if you want to, or do them all, do them all, you can do them all, and let me know in the group how you get on, if you tried any of them, if you tried any of them, how they get, how you're getting on with it, um, if you have any questions about any of them, if you've got anything specific about any of those resolutions, or if you want to know, you know, how it works for me, or how I do, or how, how I implement it, just let me know. Okay, so, peace, I'm going now. Bye.